All right, thanks, guys. Harvard takes on Penn. Battle of the Dorks. 5 o'clock Eastern tip-off in that Ivy League matchup. The Penn Quakers are the one-point favorite total at 144. We actually saw a flip of the line in this one as Penn opened up as the one-point dog. We did see a two-point move toward the Quakers. We also saw movement downward on the total. Penn opened as the one-point dog, now minus one. Total open 145.5, down to 144. 63% of the consensus are leaning toward Harvard. 62% are shaded toward the under. Now, if you like Harvard in this matchup here, they're currently on a heater. Eight-game winning streak. They rack the top 35 in the nation in road scoring. They're 13 and 4 straight up overall for the year, and they are 6 and 1 as the official road team. Now, a couple more things to add about this Harvard squad. They rank in the top 20 in the nation in road offensive field goal percentage, certainly shooting the ball well. They also rank in the top 45 in road offensive rebounding. Now, keep in mind the reason why this line is so close Bryce Aiken, he is out. All right, he's their leading scorer, uh, scorer, so keep that in mind. That is why this line is so close. That's why Harvard, uh, they are now the one-point dog. Having said that, though, Chris Lewis, he's averaging 12 a game, six rebounds, two blocks. Noah Kirkwood, 11 points a game, four rebounds, three assists for Harvard. They are averaging 75 points per contest when traveling. They're also shooting 47% from the field on the road as well. Penn on the other side, losers of three out of their last four. They lost to the St. Joe's and Princeton twice during that stretch. They're also giving up 74 points per contest. Now, four out of Harvard's last five games did get over the number. They're also 6-1 and one to the over in their last seven as the official road team. I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Despite being down their leading scorer, I'm going to lean Harvard plus one. And the over 144 in that game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick time out <coughs> and welcome you to the show. Got some lines of personal leans out for Friday's college basketball action. Happy Friday to you. The weekend is finally here. A well-deserved, well-earned weekend for you. Now, before we go ahead and dive into some more free lines of personal leads right here on YouTube, just got to quickly remind you to check me out on my website, at patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we do daily premium sports picks on that website, beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. We're currently 3-0 and in our last three extra daily picks on that site. The extra daily pick is a package that I offer, which is just $2.99 through the end of the month. We're also 3-0 and in our last three college basketball package plays. And our hot package right now, the board member package, where we are 6-1 and one with a push in our last eight board member package plays. We got a board member play going off tonight, so we're looking to make it 7-1 and one with a push in our last nine. But anyway, only way to find out is if you sign up for Patreon. Link for that website is in the description section below. And real quick, you're probably wondering, well, why would I sign up for a package uh, when I'm getting all the picks for free right here on YouTube? The entire slate and you're exactly right. I handicapped the entire slate on the board. Now, here's the problem with that. If you were to bet your hard-earned money on every single game on the board side in total, you are guaranteed to lose all of your money. Uh, <laughs> it's just really not a formula for success. Uh, the more games you have in action, especially side in total, the more angles you have, the more aggressively and egregious the math becomes against you. Uh, I implore you, please do not bet every single game on the board side in total. So what I do on Patreon, I make life a lot easier for you. I break it down to just three to four premium selections per day, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, my current Patreon record is a lot better than it is here on YouTube, throwing darts, handicapping games with my eyes closed and my underwear. So anyway, if you want to check out my current record, you can do that for free. It's right on the homepage. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into some more free lines and personal leans right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Akron taking on Kent State, 630 Eastern tip-off in that game. Kent State's minus 2.5, total 148. We saw a half a point move toward the flash and moving downward on the total. 
Kent State open as the two-point favorite, up to minus two and a half. Total open 148 and a half, down to 148. Kent State is covering 63% of their games on their home court. They're also 2-0 against the number in their last couple of games as well. They rank in the top 25 in home scoring. Uh, they're also shooting 48% from the field on their home court as well. Danny Pippen, 14 points a game, 7 rebounds, 2 blocks. Antonio Williams, 14 points a game, 4 assists. And Troy Simons, 14 points a game, 4 rebounds for Kent State. The Flash, they are 9-1 straight up at home. And their opponents are shooting just 48% from the field at Kent State. The Zips on the other side of Akron. They failed to cover the point spread in three out of their last four. They're also 5-4 and four to the over away from home. Kent State, they are 60% to the over in their last 10 themselves. I'm going to lean toward Kent State minus 2.5 and, and the over 148 in that game. Next matchup, Virginia Commonwealth taking on Rhode Island, 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off. Rhode Island open a <coughs> excuse me. Rhode Island open one and a half down to minus one. Total open 140 up to 141. 59% are leaning Rhode Island. 60% shaded toward the over. VCU failed to cover the point spread in five out of their last eight away from home. Virginia Commonwealth, they are also just eight and thirteen against the spread overall for the year. Rhode Island on the other side, red hot right now. Winners of their last seven straight. They went 6-1 and one against the spread in those seven victories. They rank in the top 40 in the country in offensive rebounding, top 30 in defending the three ball. Now six out of Rhode Island's last eight games stayed under the number. VCU on the other, other side, 5-4 and four to the under in their last nine. I'm going to lean Rhode Island minus one and the under 141 in that contest. Next game, Bowling Green taking on Buffalo, 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Bulls of Buffalo opened as the four-point favorite, up to minus four and a half. No surprise there. Total open 158 and a half, down to 157. 57% are leaning Buffalo, 51% shaded toward the over. Now, Bowling Green, you probably think they have no shot in this one. Uh, no, you're wrong. Bowling Green's red hot right now. Winners of their last seven straight. They're also four months straight up as the official road team. Bowling Green. Ranks in the top 10 in the country in road scoring. They're also in the top 15 in shooting the three ball on the road as well. They're averaging 79 points per contest away from home. They're also shooting 40% from downtown when they travel. One more thing to add about Bowling Green. Uh, I know a lot of folks probably writing them off. They rank in the top 30 in the nation in offensive rebounding on the road. There is certainly a case for Bowling Green in this matchup here. Now, Buffalo on the other side, they're covering just 40% of their games on their home court. They're also allowing 75 points per contest on their home court as well. Now, total-wise, Buffalo 60% to the over at home. No real surprise there. Bowling Green 4-3 and three to the over in their last seven themselves. I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me Bowling Green plus 4.5 in the over 157 in that game. Next matchup, it is going to be Fairfield taking on Ryder. 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off. Ryder open 6, up to minus 6.5. Total open 134.5, down to 134 even. 55% are leaning Ryder, 60% on the under. Ryder has failed to cover the point spread in 5 out of their last 7. They also covered just 30% of their games in their last 10. They're giving up 72 points per contest on average. Meanwhile, Fairfield on the other side... 13-6 and six against the spread overall for the year. They rank the top 30 in defensive rebounding, and they're giving up just 63 points per contest. Now, three out of Fairfield's last four games did stay under the number. They're also 8-4 and four to the under away from home. Ryder on the other side, 80% to the under in their last 10. I'm going to lean toward another underdog in this one. Give me Fairfield plus 6.5 uh, and, and the under 134 in that game. Next matchup, Marist taking on Niagara. 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off in that matchup. Niagara opened as the 7-point favorite, down to minus 6. Total open 131, up to 131.5. 62% are leaning Niagara, 85% shaded toward the over. Right now, Marist is 4-2 and two against the spread in their last 6. They also went 5-3 and three against the spread in their last 8. Marist ranks in the top 50 in points allowed on the road. 
They're giving up just 66 points per contest. Meanwhile, their opponents are shooting just 41% from the field when Marist is on the road. Now, Niagara on the other side, losers of their last two straight. They've also won just four out of their last 10 games. Niagara is giving up 75 points per contest. Oddly enough, seven out of Niagara's last nine games did stay under the total. They also went 67% to the under on their home court thus far. Marist on the other side, 60% to the under when they travel. I'm going to lean toward another underdog. Give me Marist plus six in the under 131 and a half in that contest. <coughs> Next matchup, Oakland taking on Detroit. 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off. Detroit open one and a half up to minus two. Total of 137 up to 138. 68% are leaning Detroit, 82% shaded toward the over. Right now, Oakland is in the middle of a four-game losing streak. They also dropped eight out of their last ten. Oakland struggling away from home. Winners in just four out of their last 14 away from home. And they are averaging 61 points per contest as the official road team. Now, Detroit on the other side, as bad as they've been in certain spots this year, they've won three out of their last four. They've also successfully covered the point spread in seven out of their last nine. Detroit ranks at the top five in offensive free throw percentage. Very good from the stripe. And six out of their last eight did stay under the number. Now, Oakland on the other side, they are four and two to the under in their last six themselves. They're also 11 and three to the under away from home. I'm going to lean Detroit minus two and the under 138 in that contest. All right, next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Wright State taking on Milwaukee. 8 o'clock Eastern tip-off in that contest. Wright State opened 5.5 up to minus 6. Total open 149.5 up to 150. 69% are leaning Wright State. 52% shaded toward the over. Right now, Milwaukee's plus 240 on the money line. Now, Milwaukee, really bad against the number this year. They successfully covered the point spread in just six out of their 19 games. They also failed to cover in five out of their last eight at home. They're shooting just 40% from the field this year, and they're giving up 73 points per contest. Now, Wright State on the other side, winners in nine out of their last 10. They're also eight and two straight up away from home this year. They rank in the top 10 in the country in road scoring. They're also in the top 10 in road offensive rebounding. Now, total-wise, no real surprise here. Wright State, 70% to the over in their last 10. They've also gone 5-2 and two to the over on the, uh, on the road. I'm going to go ahead and lean Wright State minus 6 in the over 150 in that game. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. But most importantly, guys, i got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. Happy Friday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.